show you guys right here outside the computer program um, just so you guys can hear the audio and you can see that everything is working so y'all see how I have RF bass on right there turn this off actually let's just turn it down so you can see I got our bass turned all the way down and you can still see that it's really really loud here right if I just go down here Hit record, they're on the red track. Hit record here, and then hit record there. Hit play. There you go. See the audio level dropped? So if I turn this back up, all right? See the audio level picks back up, right? Same thing here. If I go to plugins, and let's see, uh, let's do something drastic. Let's turn on the EQ here, and let's do, hmm. Let's do, um, so I got the EQ on here. Let's do a low cut. See that? I'm gonna filter it out. Look at the sound. That's how you record with plugins and with the X32. Hit that like button, baby. How you guys doing? I know it's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, I'm working on the album. So I got about seven songs done. I'm thinking about doing 10. So uh, stay tuned for that. But for today, we're going to use 16 tracks of effects coming out the mixer. EQ, compressor, gate, stuff like that. Even reverb and whatnot if you wanted to. Also, we're going to use Pro Tools effects. And you know what else I'm going to do? I am going to leave the scene for the Behringer to set it up for you, including the rooting and all of that. I'm going to leave that in the description below. Also, I'm going to leave the Pro Tools template. So y'all going to be good to go. A few clicks, no setting up. Go straight to it. And so I'm going to show you how to use some plugins. Well, not show you how to use them, but I'm going to just show you that you can use them all in unison together. So let's do that now. All right, so first thing we want to do is, you guys kind of can see here, I got it kind of preset up, but first thing you want to do is click over here, go to load, then you want to go to your downloads, because that's where yours is going to be, however mine is here, it's going to be called 16 channel effects slash plugins mixing, open it. Then it's gonna load it just like this, all right? Then let's go to Pro Tools. Inside of the Pro Tools folder, there would be a folder called Session Templates. Click there. Or you can just directly click on the file that you downloaded. Me, this is where I got it put at, under VTT Studio. So in here, I'm looking for my template, and there it is. So all I do is just double click it, then Pro Tools is going to load the template. Now, what you do have to do, though, the only thing you have to do is reset your routing because I know your routing is probably going to be something weird or different for whatever you were using the X32 to do. So I'm going to show you how to set the routing up here in this tutorial to make your life easy. That's the only setup you may have to do. You may not. Most likely, you will have to do this. All right. Um, so let's call this. We don't even need to name it template, right? I'm gonna use 32-bit float. This way, if you clip or anything, it can be easily turned down um, without you losing, uh, uh, you know, losing um, quality. Also, make sure you click interleaved so that combines your left and right channels. So this is pretty much how I set it up, so yeah. I can see right here and right now. 
So yeah, we have to do a little bit of tinkering here in the I.O. So click set up here at the top, then click on I.O. Then this pops up. What you want to do is you want to make your master channel. Well, first, let's delete everything. I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. All right. Delete it. On the output tab, go to the input tab. Select everything, click on the top one, then click on the bottom one by holding the shift, delete it. Then what you want to do, right here where it says default format, click mono, then press default for inputs. You see how I selected only 1 through 16? That's because here in the Behringer app, when we went to setup, we selected 16 in, 16 out. You could do 32 in, 32 out. It'll work pretty much the same, but... Uh, we're only using 16 channels, so let's say power 16 and 16 out. All right, um, click on the output tab here, hit default. Now, what you want to do though, you don't have a master. See how it says monitor path none? So, what you want to do, let's delete one and two because when you're using the card on the X32 and the way that we're using it for the studio, it's going to default to channel one and two for your mains. So we're gonna delete those and make it a stereo. So you delete that, click here, uh, new path, and make it a stereo. Let's put master. Once you do that, let's drag this to the top. That way it's not confusing. So that's your master, and then go over here to your monitor path and select master, right? So there, do that, good to go. Cause those are the masters so we could delete those and also these all right so now how i have it set up is when you get in pro tools like this now let's go to some beats all right so now you see how this wave file look here let's say you wanted to record this <clears throat> and add some effects. So first thing you want to do is let's throw Waves plugins. Let's go to Waves. Let's do a, um, that's a Vox. So let's do a R, R Vox just for the sake of the tutorial. You can use any plugin you like, all right? Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> all right, so. All right, so now I want to show you guys. That's track seven. So let's go down here to track seven to record that. Let's say we like that effect, right? Hit record up here, press play. So if you look at this, it's way smaller. You see, we increased the volume with the compressor. So that's how you can tell right there. This is how you can tell. We increase the volume here. So you see, that's different. See that? So that's how you know the plugin is actually working. Now, just to double back and let you see that the X32 is working, let's run that back again and record it. here all right let's record that so now what we're going to do we're going to click on this track and we're going to turn on the eq so you can see it's barely getting any waves right see that When I'm adjusting the EQ, you see it's, it's cutting it 14 decibels. So that's how you know it's working. So I'm using both. So let's say I'm going to leave it like this, right? Let's go back. All right, so look at the waveform. Look how, how where it is, right? It's kind of quiet. Let's go back to the Arvox. Let's compress it. It got louder. Hit that sub, baby. And that's how you do it. I couldn't find no tutorial showing you how to do this. So that's how you do it with all 16 channels. Same thing. I just chose a random channel, seven. It's all the same. <laughs>